Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a uh, 3,000 mile review in the truck. Uh, it's not a lot of miles, but uh, I figured I'd give uh, you know uh, some of my impressions on the truck now that I've had it for a couple weeks. And uh, yeah, so a little over 3,000 miles on the vehicle, and uh, she's doing great. Uh, this this 21 is most definitely a refinement. The, the, the night when this was first introduced in 2019, this new body style, whether you it's a four and a half or fifth gen, whatever, right? There's a huge debate online, right? Uh, keep in mind that 95% of this truck is all new, except for the skin of the cab and the bed. Uh, but everything else from the frame, engine, refinement of the transmission, especially the interior is all new. So, but anyways, um... From the 19 to the... The 19 was an improvement over the previous 4th gen trucks, right? But this 21 is an improvement from the 19 in a lot of ways. Uh, the transmission, the 68 RFE, they... I don't know what else they did, if they did anything. I have no idea. However, it is much better than the 19 that I had. Um... The diesel exhaust fluid consumption is far better than the 19. My 18 and 16 Ram, um, my def consumption wasn't bad. I could get, you know, 5,000, 6,000, maybe up to 7,000 miles um, or, or more more um, per tank of diesel exhaust fluid. Like if I were to let it go to empty, right, which I typically don't. Um, but, you know, I could, I, could, I could get some good mileage out of that. When I bought the 19, I swear it was like every 2,000 miles I'd be filling up diesel exhaust fluid. And that's from like a quarter tank left to full. Uh, it's ridiculous. It used up so much diesel exhaust fluid. And there was a, a, a recall um, programming to, to fix that. However, my 19, the build date did not fall into that category. So I was just stuck with a truck that just drank diesel exhaust fluid like crazy. Now this 21 is far better. I have a little, um, I have a, I'm, I'm close to half a tank of diesel exhaust fluid and I, I'm, I'm over 3,000 miles. So that's really good. Um, I could probably, if I were to drive it till empty, I could probably get 6,000, maybe 6,500 miles um, of diesel exhaust fluid range. But uh, once I get to half a tank, which is going to be in the next few hundred miles, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the tank. So I don't like running my tank low or dry or I, I don't I don't like that. Something I've noticed with vehicles that have diesel exhaust fluid emissions problems is when they're running the tank super low. So I don't do that. I, I fill them up at least I, I will I, I will at least if I were to let it go, I would maybe let it go to a quarter tank. But typically at a half a tank, that's when I like to fill it up. So that's what I plan to do. Um so there's that. So the diesel exhaust fluid, yeah, it's the, the usage is much better. The 68 RFE transmission is so much better, even from the 19. The 19 was an improvement over the the, uh, the, the fourth gens. Uh, you know, my 2011, my 16, and my 18, the 68 RFE was the same. It just it shifted the same. There was no difference in any of those years. Uh, the 68 RFE was always a clunky, sloppy transmission, right? My 19 was a little bit better. However, there was a recall for my truck, and I did have to go get that fixed. Uh, but this 21 is even a better refinement upon the 19. Uh, the 68 RFE is incredibly smooth. I'm, I'm very impressed with this truck. Very impressed. So um, another thing that I want to discuss are these headlights. Uh, at night, these, these headlights, the, the illumination is great. Uh, it's so much brighter than the Ford. Uh, and it's just it's just great. And these headlights, if you if you have a Longhorn or higher trim like mine, limited, these headlights, this projector light, it'll swivel, it'll rotate. You know, I think it's like 15 degrees to the left or to the right. You know, so if if you're standing at the wall, if you stand, if you if you're parked in front of a wall and get your headlights on, and you turn your steering wheel to the left, you can see the projector light. It's the driver's side light that will rotate left. You can see you can see the lines right there. The projector lines rotate to the left, and then when you uh, straighten out the steering wheel, it'll come back to center. And if you turn to the right, you can see the the right projector light. It'll uh, swivel to the right, 
rotate right. So it's pretty cool because when driving around corners at night, especially in the mountains, ooh, especially in the mountains, that is very helpful that you can see around corners. And I really like that. That's, that's a great feature that these Rams have. Um, the tow mirrors. I really do like the Ram tow mirrors. I really do. In terms of visibility, the Ford has the best tow mirrors. However, they're big. They're like elephant ears, right? Because you've got the tall, the big mirror on top and the blind spot mirror in the bottom, but it creates like a tall um, silhouette, right? Right, silhouette. Uh, but the Ram, with their tow mirrors, I like that they flip up or flip down, right? I, I keep them in the down position. It's got a lower profile, as you can see, right? When they're flipped up, it's, it's vertical, so it's got a taller profile. But when they're down, it's... The, the, the mirrors aren't that big, and it's great. I, I, you know, when at a stoplight, stop sign, you're looking left, looking right, like you should. Uh, it's, the visibility is great. I have no problem seeing over these tow mirrors um, to look over into the uh, other side of traffic. So it's great. Um, but yeah, and, and the color. I love the silver. It, it's, you know, silver is really easy to keep clean. <laughs> Uh, I always thought white was, but no, silver is great. It rained heavily in Virginia this past weekend, and uh, when I came home, my truck still looked clean, uh, in a, you know, except for, like, the bumpers and, you know, there's some waters, you know, whatever. But overall, the truck, the, the paint, everything just looked clean. I was like, wow, that's impressive. Um, but, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it for the review of this. You know, this is just a 3,000 mile review. As I rack on the miles, I'll continue to update. Um, ooh, I did get my windows tinted. I don't know if you can tell. Obviously a little darker. I didn't get the visor, but uh, I did do my windows and the back window. There's a 20% tint uh, 3M crystalline. That's what I always get. So, but uh, yeah, so there's the update. Uh, truck's doing well. Everything is, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with the truck. I'm glad I made the, tr the switch. Uh, very impressed with this truck so far. Uh, it's definitely a refinement. Um, whether some of you call it a four and a half gen or a fifth gen, the 21s are definitely a refinement. I would say it's got to be like the best of the best of, you know, this generation, right? Um, I don't know. Some people call it a fifth gen. Is it a, is it a fifth gen? 95% uh, of this truck is new, new frame, revised transmission, uh, essentially, you know, same engine, but not, right? A lot of things have changed in the engine and all new interior. The only thing that's a carryover really is just the skin of the cab and the bed. Um, that's really about it. Everything else is new. So, I don't know. Some people call it a fifth gen. Some people call it a fourth gen or a four and a half gen or 4.75. I don't know, but uh, that's neither here nor there. The point is that these 21s are a refinement, and they're great. They're really great. I'm very happy with this truck, and uh, I would make that decision to trade. Um, I would definitely do it again. You know, looking back, sometimes you look back, and you're like, oh, would I have made that trade? Was that worth it? Uh, you don't know, but in this, in this case, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I, I really do feel that this is going to be the last truck. Um, that I ever get. So, but yeah. All right, we'll see you in the next video.